Welcome back to Lake Math. We're going to talk about function notation now. Uh, this one confuses people, but as soon as you understand what we're doing, it's really not that bad. In most classes, it's just kind of randomly thrown in there somewhere. It's important, but it doesn't tie neatly in with the other stuff. So we've been talking about linear things, and now I'm just randomly talking about function notation, and then I'm going to go right back to talking about linear stuff. And that's just kind of how it goes in a normal math class for this. I could have thrown it in with domain and range, but those are confusing enough already. Alright, we'll start with what is function notation. Function notation means you're going to see f of x equals a bunch of junk. Now this f of x part looks weird. It's the same thing as y. So y is a number but that number depends on what x equals. So that means y is a function of what x is. It depends on what x is. So when you see f of x, g of x, h of x, v of t, h of q, any of these things, all of those are just silly different ways to write y. It's, it's all just the same thing as the letter y. Now the reason it's like that y equals something based on what x equals. So if we've got a line and x is here, then that means y is here. But if x is here, then y equals something different, right? Now x is considered independent, so that means we don't have any control over what x is. And the y thing depends on x because when x changes, so does y. y depends on x, so y is dependent, and x is independent. That definitely is a question that ends up showing up on standardized tests. Things that are always x. Time. Time is always x. If it's time, it's x. We can't make it tomorrow or yesterday. We don't have control over time. Things that are always y. Money. Money always depends on how many things we're buying and selling and whatever. Now, the other part that ends up being confusing for people is when you get this, like f of 2. What does f of 2 mean? Well, here's a translation for what this means. This means, what does y equal when x is 2? Um, this is a whole lot shorter. Math people don't like writing that much. So instead of writing what does y equal when x is 2, that's a whole sentence and this is a letter, parentheses, and a 2. It's, it's smaller. Mathematicians are hard working unless you want them to write. When it comes to writing, they prefer shorter. Alright, so an example, we've got f of x equals 3x plus 2 and they want to know what f of 2 is. So we put a 2 where the x was, right? So all we're going to do is put a 2 where all the x's are. So we'll put in a, a 2 here, we'll put a 2 here. If we have lots of x's in here, we'd put a 2 in each of those spots. So for us to figure out what f of 2 is, we just put a 2 right there and then we multiply it out. So f of 2 equals 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2, so it's 8. And there you go. We could have uglier ones. f of x equals 3x squared plus 2x minus 2. So if we did f of 2 for this one, I need to put a 2 here and here. Use parentheses. With this it doesn't matter, but if I had negatives it would definitely matter. So 2 squared is 4, times 3 is 12, 2 times 2 is 4, minus 2. So we got 14. Alright.